Okay, I have found an interesting techniques here called Weyer stress substitution. I don't know to pronounce this correctly, but it is the integration techniques when you have a function of a over b when the numerator and denominator contain either sine x or cosine x or another trigonometric substitution. So here we have a function of a over b and the denominator here contains cosine x and we can solve this by using a substitution that blow out blow up my mind so uh, we will use the substitution of t is equal to tangent x over 2 and this seems un counterintuitive because thi this this looks like we are not helping to simplify this integral but we will see we will see how this integral will help to solve this one so if we have t is equal to tangent x over 2 we can draw a right angle triangle here so this is right angle triangle and this is x over 2 and this is the right angle so we will have tangent x tangent is the this one over this one so t over 1 is t and the hypotenuse will be t squared plus 1 square root of t squared plus 1 i mean and we can calculate sine of x over 2 and then cosine of x over 2 from this right angle triangle so sine x over 2 will be this one t over square root of t squared plus 1 and then cosine x will be 1 over square root of t squared plus 1 and then because we have the half angle and this one will be an angle so we will need to use double angle formula so remember that sine x is equal to 2 sine of half x cosine of half x so we can multiply all of this and we will get 2t over t squared plus 1 okay this is for sine x and then for cosine x we can use this formula cosine squared x over 2 minus sine squared x over 2 so cosine x over 2 squared will be 1 over t squared plus 1 minus the sine will be t squared over t squared plus 1 and this becomes 1 minus t squared over t squared plus 1 and now we need to find out the dx so here we have this one so dt will equal to one half second square of x over 2 dx and we can divide both sides by secant secant squared of x over 2 and move this 2 to the left hand side so i will have d x will equal to 2 dt over secant squared of x over 2 but secant squared of x over 2 is equal to 1 over cos so this will be 2 cosine squared x over 2 of dt and cosine of squared x over 2 can be calculated here so this will be 2 over 
t squared plus 1 dt. Okay, now we have sine x, cosine x, and also dx. We can plug all of this into our original integral. So let's do that. So here what we will get is integral of dx. Okay, dx is equal to this one. So I will have 2 over t squared plus 1. 2 over t squared plus 1 of dt. And then over 5 plus 4 of cosine x. Cosine x is this one. So we multiply this by 4. So I will have... 4 minus 4t squared divided by t squared plus 1. Okay, let's do a simple algebra manipulation. So we will have integral of 2 over t squared plus 1 dt divided by 5. 5 can, re can be written as 5t squared plus 1, 5 divided by t squared plus 1 plus 4 minus 4 t squared divided by t squared plus 1. Okay, if we divide both numerator and denominator, so we can cancel this, cancel this, and cancel this, and then what can we do is rewrite this as integral of 2 divided by this one. 5t squared minus 4t squared is t squared. And 5 plus 4 is 9. And this is dt. So this is a basic integral. So the, the result will be arctan. So we can remove this. This will be 1 times 2. So from here, let's do trigonometric substitution. So we will let t is equal to 3 tangent theta. And so dt will be 3 secant squared theta d theta and then we plug all of this into this so we will have this as 2 integral of 1 times dt will equal to dt so I will have 3 secant squared theta d theta over this squared will be 9 tangent squared theta, so 9, and I can factor out 9, tangent squared theta plus 1. Okay, tangent squared theta plus 1 is secant squared theta, and this term cancel each other. So, and 3 divided by 9 will be, this is 1. And this is 3. So we will have 2 over 3 integral of d theta. That will be 2 over 3 theta plus c. And because this theta is here, so theta is equal to arcs, arcus tangent of t over 3. And t is equal to tangent x over 2. So this will be tangent minus 1 of 1 third tangent x over 2. Okay, so we plug all of this into this theta. So I will have the final result of the this integral is... 2 third of inverse tangent 1 third tangent x over 2 
plus the integration constant and this is our final answer and very interesting substitution and I just know this techniques after my after long after my undergraduate study so yeah interesting techniques and thank you for watching